2020 is not the year that any of us expected. But despite all of the challenges, you didn't let a pandemic stop the work of bringing hope and rescue for those who were caught in human trafficking. In India, your operatives and staff responded to their communities as the pandemic caused a countrywide lockdown that left the poor out of work and facing literal starvation. You provided resources so that our team could disperse critical emergency food packages, particularly in the slum communities where we work. You also showed up for our national police partners by providing personal protective equipment to officers in four precincts within high-risk areas. When the country began to reopen, your India team was right there, finding survivors and working to free them. In Thailand, your teams adapted and pivoted to online investigations even as they were locked down in their own homes. When police began taking cases again, our teams were ready. They quickly moved cases forward and found rapid success. The youngest survivor they held free was a 13-year-old boy who's now receiving professional care and rehabilitation. Also in Thailand, we saw justice served in a major way in 2020. A case involving the trafficking of 13 teen boys from the previous year was finally decided in court, and over 400 years of prison time was given to the 13 traffickers arrested. In Latin America, your operatives used a stay-at-home order to pursue online training opportunities as a team. They discovered multiple cases of sex trafficking as they scraped through data on platforms like Facebook and Twitter. And their efforts with police led to the rescue of girls like Anna and Lucia, who were being forced to perform live sex acts in a webcam studio. Your Latin American team also provided critical intelligence that resulted in the takedown of a major trafficking syndicate that had been using torture as a means to keep women, mostly refugees, enslaved. Today, those traffickers are facing justice. And here in the United States, our new training and awareness website, Traffic Watch, went live. We also launched a new top 10 podcast and created some of our best videos yet, all geared towards helping tell the real stories of the real work on the front lines. We also shut up for our field teams. When the pandemic first hit, our headquarters staff took salary cuts to protect the frontline operatives and their work first and foremost. And like so many of you, we've navigated working remotely, wearing masks and reimagining events. And because of your support, this year, we performed over 27,000 hours of investigation and rescued 76 survivors of human trafficking while arresting 89 of their traffickers. And now, as 2020 comes to a close, we're poised to expand our search and rescue operations into two new countries in Asia, and we're creating a training program for national law enforcement officers in a second country in Latin America. We're also working on a brand new survivor care program in Southeast Asia and planning the expansion of our current search and rescue teams with more national staff as well. You've proven time and again that justice is in the hands of ordinary men and women and that even in a year unlike any other in recent history, we can still bring hope, we can still find lost sons and daughters, and we can still rescue the most vulnerable. Because despite the obstacles, justice, hope, freedom, arrests, and rescues still move forward because of you.